house. Uh, this is the third neglected dog today from the same owner. And these two little girls were shaved in previous videos. Now it's time for her and let's go. I was too optimistic at the start because I thought the worst part of the day's treatments had already been done. I was so wrong. At this point of treatment all was looking usual. Average neglected small dog, enough time, I focused. But nothing of that was usual that day. It turned out to be the most complicated case I have ever had in my career. I was truly desperate that day. You will see why. Although I have already told the story of these dogs in previous videos, I will repeat it now for those who have not yet watched them, to make this story clear to all of you. One day we got a message from some man. He said his neighbor had neglected dogs. We immediately arranged a grooming treatment. Bane picked up the dogs, brought them to the salon and gave me the information he got from that man. For example, which dog has puppies and when, how old they are, he knows their names and so on. He even knew how much the dogs were paid. He was full of information. Suddenly one thought crosses our minds. That man is the real owner of these dogs. Of course, the first impulse was not to return the dogs to him. But in our country, such a thing would be defined as a criminal act. We have no organization or laws that protect the dogs from people like him. We had to return them to the owner, but we talked to him and made a deal. He will regularly bring the dogs to the grooming treatment because it will be free of charge. Well, that's the only thing we can do. Owner education and lifetime free dog treatments. It smells like a sh it stinks like a... I try to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not nice. <laughs> this is not nice. This is poop. After this moment, the situation starts to heat up and my mood starts to go in the direction of misery. I need to go extreme. Trust me, the sharpest scissors can't cut this bunch of matted hair in combination with poop, mud and dust. When you add years of collecting all that into the fur, you get a mess. I must go little by little because I don't want to injure the dog. It takes so much time. It's so frustrating. Here I thought the most challenging part was over. Oh, I was so wrong. The tail was fairy tale compared to the legs. The tail is free now, but we have much more work to do.
don't worry. I took out another tick while Bane was filming this monster tick. Now the hell begins. I will let you watch without me talking. Hardest work I ever done. Definitely. One is done. Three more to go. I really don't know what to do. You have seen and you are yet to see red spots on the legs. That looks like injured skin on the camera, but it isn't injured. That is a sign of compromised skin caused by lack of an air and oxygen. The skin was suffocated with matted hair and dirt and lacked proper blood circulation for a long time, so it is now red. After bathing, everything will quickly return to normal because I removed the problem that causes red spots. Five minutes ago, uh, we wanted to give up, but uh, luckily this somehow uh, succeed, my wife succeed to cut this off. So now we are... We are trying our best. We are trying our best, we don't uh, give that dog back because nobody will, nobody will know to finish this. Yeah. And I think this is the hardest dog that we ever done. Uh, the most complicated legs that we ever saw. <laughs> we are trying with silly stuffs. This, that, and that. Yeah. <clears throat> we have done more than 100 dogs, but uh, neglected dogs. Yeah. 
only for the videos, but uh, probably several thousand dogs, but never saw a dog in this condition. And yeah, uh, don't forget that this dog was paid $1,000 just for reproduction. Disappointing. Disgusting. All these things were on her leg, her tiny leg. You see, her leg is like my finger. And you see that? Bane had never been this angry and disappointed. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Finally over. I have never been closer to giving up, but I motivated myself to push the limits and reach my goal to free the dog from suffering.
we did a huge job today. I'm very proud of my team and myself. I would love to hear your opinion. How are we today? I want to thank you for watching, commenting and sharing our videos. It means a lot to us, but also helps us save more dogs than we could save without your support. So, one more time, thank you so much! Okay, we are done with this little girl. And you can watch uh, sharing of, of these two girls in our previous videos. You can watch them now. And don't forget to subscribe on the channel because that means a lot for us. That's a nice support and we will continue to do this with or without uh, videos. Bye.